All right, everybody, I am back with a brand new tutorial. For several years, people have been asking me to make a video based off of my most popular video here on YouTube, which is how to transfer your own music to an iPhone using a Mac computer. And everybody's been asking me to do the PC version to show how to take music from a PC and to put it onto your iPhone. And that's what this tutorial is going to cover. And it is going to be 100% free. And it's going to be done in two parts. This first part, I'm going to show you how to actually take a CD like what I have here, Def Leppard self-titled Def Leppard album, and I'm going to show you how to rip this to a PC, and then the second video is going to show you how you could put that music onto your iPhone. And that's going to be an interesting one because I'm going to show you how to do it without having to use cables, and you can either stream it or you can actually download the music directly to your phone. And the best part is it doesn't matter what format the music is in. Because for people who are iPhone users, you might not know, but the iPhone can only play two formats, MP3 or Apple's own music. But I've got a way around that, and it's not going to cost you a dime. All it's going to require is that you have a PC, and if you want to do the music rip, you're going to have to have a PC that has a CD-ROM in it, and... If you just need to do the part where you need to transfer your music from a PC to an iPhone, that doesn't require a CD as long as that music is actually already on your computer. So for this first tutorial, let's talk about the different formats that you can rip your music from a CD, uh, what formats you can rip them to on your PC. This is going to be important because when you install the software, which is free, that I'm about to show you in this tutorial, when you're installing it, you're going to need to choose which format you actually want to rip most of your CDs. You can always change it, and I show that in the video at a later time, but it's a lot easier if you set it up the way you want to. So let's talk about the different formats. One of the options is to just rip the CD as it is in waveform. That's what they are on the CD, and you could do a direct one-to-one -one copy of the CD onto your computer. That takes up more space, though. That takes up upwards of 650 it could be around that, megabytes per CD, which is quite a bit. So if you use these other formats, you can compress them. So the other two options you have are to compress them using two different formats. The first format is the one that everybody's familiar with, an MP3, which is going to make them about one-tenth the size. The limitations with an MP3, though, is that it, it really compresses the sound. If you're an audiophile and you want the best representation of that music, MP3 is not the way to go, but it is manageable, and it will give you the smallest size. The default is about 128 kilobytes a second. Now, that's important because that's what the default is, but you can bump that up to 320 kilobytes a second, which is, or 300, yeah, it's, I think it's 320, which is going to give you three times the quality on that MP3. But that's as high as it goes. The other format you can you can rip it in is called FLAC. And that's what I'm doing in this video. I'm going to show you how to do FLAC. FLAC is pretty awesome. FLAC will, will actually give you the best representation, still compressed, but it's not going to be as compressed as an MP3 with, with almost no noticeable loss in quality of the sound. And I'm also going to put it up to the highest quality settings of a FLAC file. When I'm ripping it, that's about 1,100 kilobytes a second, which, again, is almost four times what an MP3 can give you. It is going to give you a smaller file size than a WAV file, the uncompressed that just burning the CD, but not by a whole lot. You're probably going to save probably 10 to 20% of your space. So if you're, what I tell people, if you're spatially challenged on your PC or your iPhone, you're going to want to go... With an MP3, you just need to determine the kilobit rate, and you'll see that in the menu. Or if space doesn't matter to you and you want the best representation of that sound, but you still want it compressed, use a FLAC file. Or if space doesn't matter at all, just copy the entire CD over as it is. That'll get you the best quality you can get. All right, guys, so let's get into the tutorial. All right, everybody. I'm actually already on the website where you need to download exact audio copy from. And I'm going to include a link to this website in the description of this video. And this program is 100% free. Now, there's going to be a lot of ads on the page. You know, they're always hoping you click on something you shouldn't. We're going to keep this very simple. You just go to the left side of the page when you get to the exact 
audio copy website and you click the download button on the left hand side. And then when this page opens up, you want to scroll down just a little bit and you'll see in the middle of the page here where there's a little bit of information here where it says if you encounter any problems on downloading, please click here. You want to click the box right above it that says download exact audio copy. Um, it is free. It doesn't cost anything, but you can always donate if you want to. Uh, again, you don't need to click anything else. So I'm going to download this. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. Most people are going to have this download to their downloads folder, but I'm putting on the desktop just to show you guys how easy this is. So I'm going to save it. So it's a very small file, so it is already downloaded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out of the internet here, and you can see exact audio copy. The installation file is right here on my desktop. So I am uh, now real quick before I get into this. Before you do anything, you want you want to create a music folder on your desktop. Well, actually, you can create it anywhere you want to save your music. I created it on my desktop just again for ease of use, showing you guys how to uh, do all of this. This is where all of my music is going to be placed. So it's already, you want to create a music folder somewhere on your computer and you're going to point exact audio copy to that folder. So that's one thing you want to have set up before you do anything. But I'm going to install this now. So yes, I want it to make changes to my device. And then exact audio copy 1.8 setup. You're going to click next. On this next page, you're just going to hit I agree. And it's going to show you where it is going to install this in your C program files 86 exact audio copy. Just click next. And just click next on this next window. And you can leave everything selected in here. That is perfectly OK. Hit install. And it's going to go through the installation. It's a very small file. It's going to install it very quickly. And I'm going to finish. I'm not going to run it just yet, but I'm going to finish it. Now, before I do this, I'm just going to delete the installation file here that I don't need anymore. And here is exact audio copy. Now, I already have my Def Leppard album in my disk drive. You can do the installation without having a disk in there. That's fine. It's going to go through some checks. But when the program comes up, you're going to see that Def Leppard is already selected within the program. We'll talk more about that when it pops up here. So it's going through some checks here. It's going to check my drives and a few things first. So you can, what you can do is there's this message that pops up in the middle, the test version of GD3 metadata. You can just click yes on that. And then on the left-hand side, you're just going to start the wizard. It's just explaining what it's going to do. You click next on the first window. It shows the available drives. I have one, so I'm going to click next. And now on here... They want to know when you are ripping your music, do you want the most accurate results or do you want the fastest speed? What I have found is that the fastest speed, if you have a decent drive, is going to take about five minutes per CD. If you do accurate results, it's going to take about 10 minutes. I'm okay with doing accurate results because I want the best sound possible. So I'm going to click Next. And then it's going to do the checks on the drive when I hit Next here. So it's testing several different things here, and we're just going to let it go. All right. It took about a minute to do the check, but you can see that my drive is good to go on all three things that it was looking for. So I'm just going to click Next. And it shows that the best drive is already selected, which I kind of figured. So I'm going to click Next. And this explains, you know, at the beginning of my video, I talked about the different file formats. This is where it kind of explains all of that. And you're going to see where I select it here in a minute. And then I'm going to show you in the menu how you can change it at any time. So I'm going to click Next. And you can see here is where you select either MP3 or FLAC. I'm going to choose FLAC. And I'm going to hit Next. And then I'm going to hit Next. And I'm going to leave, this has to do with the naming of the, the songs and also the album itself. And so I am going to go ahead and hit Next here. And on this window, there are several options. You can do I am a beginner, make options as easy as possible, or I'm an expert. I would, 
you're okay doing expert. I'm going to do expert because I don't know what beginner. I don't ever choose beginner. I don't know how streamlined it's going to look. You can feel comfortable doing the full potential of EAC. So that's the one that I recommend. And I'm going to click finish. All right. So then it pops up here. And you can see that I already have my Def Leppard album in here. Now, let's say that you have your album in there and it doesn't show anything. It's blank on the right-hand side for the cover and it doesn't list any of the songs. That's because you have to come up here to the, the top menu bar to database and you have to go down to get, C get CD information from in the middle and do remote metadata provider. When you click this, it's going to say all the current is going to be deleted. And if it's blank, you absolutely want that. Do you really want to continue? You would click yes. And it's going to go through and it's going to grab the same information that it shows here, but I'm just showing you guys how to do that. And it's literally that fast. Now, here's where you're going to choose whether you want to copy the entire disk as it is. And you would just click wave. And then it's going to make an entire one-to-one -one copy of the CD at the full size of the original files. If you hit compress, it's going to do it to your preference, whatever you chose. I chose FLAC when I started it, but it's not the best version of FLAC. So I'm going to change that to the best version of FLAC before I copy this. So I'm going to go up to EAC to do this, and you can do this anytime you need to. If you ever want to change to go from MP3 to FLAC or FLAC to MP3, you could do that here. You just go to EAC and you go down to compression options. When this window pops up, you're not going to do anything with waveform. It's already programmed. It's set. You don't need to worry about that. The external compression, the second one, is where FLAC is selected. And you can see that I do have high quality checked here, but it's at 768 kilobytes a second. So you can go all the way up to 1024. And so that's what I'm going to do because I want the most accurate compressed file I can get. So I'm going to do, choose the highest, and then I know it's good to go. If you want MP3, you would uncheck this, and you would go to the next window, which is MP3, and you would check check the box here. Oh, it's not letting me check it, actually. Let me go back here to this. So it looks like you got to have them both selected. So if I do, a you know, MP3, this is where you would choose also high quality, but like I said, they have it set for 128, which is pretty standard. You could do three times that and go 320, which if you're going to do an MP3 and you want to, that's what you want to do, I would highly recommend that. But I'm not doing an MP3, so I'm going to unselect this. I'm only doing FLAC, so it's already selected. I've chosen the highest here, and I'm going to click OK. And then what I need to do is I need to make sure that all of the tracks are selected, and you simply do that by hitting Select All here at the top. Also know there are some options up here at the top. If you notice that the title and the artist are not correct, or the year or the genre, you can actually insert what you want this CD to be labeled through the menu at the top. You really should never have to mess with that stuff unless you really want to. But once everything is selected here, all I have to do is hit the Compress button, and it's going to start copying this. I'm going to choose my music folder at the on the desktop, and I'm going to make a folder here. I, rec I recommend making a folder for every album that you're going to do, and I'm going to call this Def Leopard, and it's off of their Def Leopard album. And I'm going to put a dash in there. There we go. So it's Def Leopard, Def Leopard. Some, you know, if you want to put in the year in there, you could also do that, but I just do it like this, and I'm going to hit enter. There it is. I'm going to make sure that's selected and I'm going to hit OK. And that's where it's going to rip the music to. So we're going to go ahead and let this go. I will continue the tutorial when it is done. All right, so you can see now that the progress is done. It took nine minutes and 20 seconds to record uh, this to the PC. Now also one thing I wanted to show you over here before I click OK is over where it gives all the data, all the numbers here on the right side, well, center of the screen, you can see the size category, and it shows how big the songs are as a WAV file, and then the compressed size using the format that you're doing. And you can see that 
you know, the first song is 13 megabytes smaller, but is going to have no noticeable sound loss at all. I could have gone smaller, but I want the best representation. So if size is an issue, like I said, go with MP3 and choose whatever kilobit rate you decide, you know, whatever you think is appropriate for, for the space that you have. But uh, I'm okay with this. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it just goes through and it tells you what it did with each of the songs. You don't need to worry about that information. Click OK. And it is now done. So I'm going to close out of the program here. And if I come over here to the right-hand side, you can see that in my music folder here, I've got the Def Leppard album. And here are all the songs. And we're good to go. So this is what uh, this is how you copy music from a CD to a PC in 2024. What I'll be doing in the next video is showing you uh, how to transfer this to an iPhone for free, no matter what file format your music is in. So a lot of you will, all, will have already had music on your PC and you want to transfer it to an iPhone. This video was to show you how to copy it. The next video is going to show you how to transfer it. You don't even need a cable. You don't need iTunes. You don't need anything to do with Apple, not even Apple Music. I'm going to show you how to get it onto your phone physically or how to stream it from there as well.